So I remember when I was actually in high school and I was doing research to what am I actually going to study when I go to college, okay? And my first Google search is basically highest paying jobs out there. What makes the most money? And the answer was you have nuclear medicine, um, electrical engineering, and you have all these very complicated, complex jobs that take a long time to basically get and they're very hard to actually get into and they're complicated, okay? Now overall, once I realized that, hey, this is not what I want to do. I started to be a little bit more realistic into what I actually wanted. So that's why, although I'm telling you guys, hey, here are the five highest paying careers out there. I'm telling you guys about jobs that earn you above $70,000 a year. And you might say, Tommy, why not into hundreds of thousands of dollars? The answer is because usually those jobs are a lot more complicated. And also, according to research, once you make 70 k any more money above that will Will not add anything else to your happiness level okay so above that is just a consequence of what you do but above that just for the sake of having more money doesn't really make any sense whatsoever okay so as you basically look at these jobs get ideas and do more research but overall I'm the first to tell you this guys you know when you look for a job don't look for your absolute passion that's usually fake news. You want to look for something you actually like, you're good at, and it's actually going to make you money. That's what you actually want. And picking a job just for money, you're probably going to be miserable because although you can make a good amount of money, remember, it's a whole journey to be able to make that much money, okay? You have those six, eight years of school, a long time, and then you have, for example, a decade or two of actually working to earn that much money, and you have early retirement, but you also have 30 years of just pure trash lifestyle, okay? So my goal with this video is to offer you jobs that basically you can get in less than four years, some even in two years, some even in less than a year, to actually earn a decent amount of money, above 70K, okay? That's the goal for this video right here. And as always, guys, do me a favor and smash the like button on top of also so subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified. 80% of you guys are not subscribed and I appreciate it a ton. So please subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Now, let's get right into this video. Now, number one, guys, is going to be a job that I personally would not do, but my cousin loves it. He used to be a barber, not make that much money. Now he's actually a truck driver. He got his license in like six months to a year and he's earning above $70,000. The average truck driver earns about 70K. It can be as high as $140,000. It all depends on the license you actually have. Now, if you do have a class A license, you're actually able to do, for example, tractor trailers, a mission between truck and trailer, also a tank vehicle for lifestyle carriers, and you also have flatbeds i don't even know what that is okay but overall you're able to drive a bunch of different vehicles the reason i personally would not do it because it's one of those jobs that's a little bit harder on the family because you're always out driving here and there and i always fall asleep when i'm driving <laughs> maybe i should not say that but that's the truth okay so i know myself and i know that would not be the job for me but it's a good job you can get it in less than six months or 12 months and you're able to earn a good amount of money and with all the amazon all the shipping all this stuff you're able to actually do it now you might say tommy what about the future when you have for example like all these driverless truck cars or whatever okay the answer is the future will come but the goal is you're able to get money a lot quicker and you're able to work to financial freedom a lot faster and by the time that comes you'll find something else okay now number two is going to be a data analyst. These people on average make around $75,000 and these people, what they do is they grab data, they basically order, organize it, and they help people basically interpret it. That's what they do, okay? That's what data analysts do. Now, some of these jobs you can actually get, for example, whether it's at a corporation like Starbucks or Abercrombie and Fitch, or for example, jobs even in hospitals and in certain businesses. The point is, wherever there is data to be interpreted, you will usually need a data analyst, okay, to actually interpret this data. Now, to get this job, the time is basically between two years to four years because some jobs do require a four year like degree, but other jobs don't require all that. Okay. So do your research and find out exactly which one is, be is best for you based on how much money you actually want to make. But again, 75 K not that bad. And my favorite part about this job is you're able to do it a hundred percent remote from home or from China or from Barbados, okay, wherever you want to work from, okay? Now, number three is going to be HVAC technician. Now, HVAC stands for 
heating, ventilation, and also air conditioning, okay? Now, obviously, this is a job that you can actually get between, you can kind of get licensed like in around a year, two years, three years, depending on the program you actually choose. But the cool thing is you're able to start off with like 40K, upwards to 70,000, upwards to making potentially over 100K once you become a senior technician. But it's one of those things that if this actually interests you, you're actually able to get a job. And because there are so many office units, there's so many people with air conditioning, there's so much of this stuff, you're always gonna have a job in a sense. So it's one of those jobs that make a lot of sense. Now, here's what I will say about this job what will you do you will be installing units repairing units and also maintaining units if it sounds interesting to you then look into it now if you notice around this point right there are some trade jobs on my list because not all the best jobs out there you need to go ahead and work four years like get a degree and get into a bunch of debt and all this other stuff there are jobs out there available we can earn seventy thousand eighty thousand dollars without all that extra stuff okay now number four is going to be a dental hygienist you know when Whenever anybody wants to get into something, they usually think about what is the highest pinnacle? I want to be a full-blown dentist. I want to have, for example, my own consultory. Like all this stuff is cool, right? But you could also just become a dental hygienist and earn about $80,000 a year cleaning teeth, doing x-rays, and helping patients with their treatment plans, okay? Now, that sounds easy, but it's obviously not because it does take a level of of expertise and you can actually just do for example an associate's degree in dental like in dental hygiene and basically get licensed getting certified for the rha if i'm not mistaken no rdh that's what you need to get licensed in, okay rdh so once you do that in about three years or so you're actually able to start looking for jobs and making some good money and 80k a year it's not bad, okay? It's actually pretty good money. Now, number five, the last one here, is going to be an elevator technician. Now, obviously, you want to live somewhere where there are elevators to actually be, you know, technic at, okay? Now, I say that because where I live, there are no, <laughs> no elevators around here, so why would you try to do this, okay? But if you live, like, in a city place where, um, like, a metro area with a lot of elevators, this can take anywhere like from around like four years or so because you do need to get an, 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 like an, an apprenticeship or something like that. And it's pretty cool, but upwards between 50K to start off, but you can go up to 70, 80K also as you do it. My point is guys, you heard this, these five ideas right here. And the point is not to pick one of these, but the point is to do research into ideas that don't, for example, need you to go into a bunch of debt, don't need you to go into eight years of school, unless you really like that type of stuff. And in reality, you can actually get started a lot sooner than you actually think. This video is not, for example, just to, hey, grab this and do it. But it's more just about me giving you ideas because when I was in college, everyone kind of just told me, you need to go to college. And when I did not get accepted to the college I wanted to go to, I ended up going to a private college, okay? And that was expensive, okay? And I got into debt and that was very stupid because even when I graduated, I didn't even practice accounting like in an actual field. I just did it on my own with like little customers and so on, okay? So my point is, okay, there are a lot of job alternatives out there. They're a lot cheaper and you're able to earn a good amount of money. You know, if I knew I could be, for example, a dental hygienist and hygienist like in three years, I might have done that. Probably not. I'm not into teeth, okay? Or, but my point is there are a lot of options out there that don't involve you having to do everything else, okay? And by the way, when you think about money, don't just think about earning the highest possible amount, but think about exactly what do you want, okay? How much money is a good amount for you? And if you're actually able to make 80K, you're able to live on half of that, you're able to invest the other half, you're able to retire like in 10 years or so, okay? That's also a real possibility. 10 years, you have $400,000 invested with compound interest that makes you a good amount of money. You're able to work part-time by making 40K, your, pay, your investments are paying for you, you have a paid off home. There are lots of possibilities out there. So don't just think of, for example, eight years is what I have to do. No, it's not necessary. As always, guys, Thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, comment down below, made it. On top of that, up here is another banger. Over here is my face. Let's subscribe. And as always, Long Term Team officially out. Also, learn to negotiate.